Hello everyone and welcome to this edition of the Chalk Talk series. My name is Kevin Floyd, a technical marketing engineer with the Security Business Unit here at Cisco Systems. Today we'd like to talk to you about our features in the latest release in, in email security and that is for Async OS, 10.0, and the specific feature that we're going to look at is advanced malware, uh, advanced malware protection reporting and tracking. And that is mess tracking. So what are we reporting and mess tracking on? It is going to be the renowned ransomware. So very briefly, right over here, we have our story about ransomware. So ransomware is typically sent in through, uh, it's commonly delivered through malvesting, some phishing attacks, uh, some, some sort of exploit uh, root kits and so forth, attack the, the victim. This is historically the way it's done in the past. Once it gets in, it is, it is going to uh, encrypt the user files of course, and leave the system files uh, alone so that they can browse off to the site and pay the ransom. And after, after they've gone and done the browsing, paid the ransom, uh, before all that's done, before they can do telemetry and, and analyze what's going on, the uh, ransomware will self-delete and it's gone for good. So they pay the ransom and they're out of there. So that's how it attacks the individual. Today, uh, in, fast forward to the current attacks. Ransomware uh, attackers are looking for uh, specific verticals, for example, financial industry, healthcare, or oil and gas. So here we're looking at oil and gas. The idea is use the traditional method to get into the company through some victim, maybe a specifically crafted file for healthcare, perhaps a, a download or something. And then once, once it gets into the, the victim, the specific victim, it gets from their system through their access into the file shares, crawls out through the organization, and once it does that, it after some mapping of the drives, the, the ransomware attacker will encrypt the, entol, the whole entire system and all at once take, uh, take the, the hospital organization, in this case, for example, for ransom. And um, the uh, famous case back in 2015 in, in the Los Angeles area, there were um, a ransom, a household paid a ransom of $25,000 straight off because uh, they had to unlock their systems or their patient systems. So today we're going to talk about how we prevent that, how Cisco email security stops that, specifically ransomware attacks on Office 365. So I have uh, the TME demo account right over here for Office 365. And we're going to send some malware in from over here. Um, let's draw that out. Some malware. And this malware is going to come in to the, um, into my, my account over here in Office 365. But first, it's, we're going to send it through our cloud email security account. Okay. So now, we want to see what's going on or what, how, how we remediated this attack over here. So let's go into the security management appliance and see exactly what we did with uh, AMP reporting and tracking. Okay, so here we are inside the overview page of the security management appliance. And we're going to show you that we provide the highest resolution and details uh, of any malware vendor in terms of email security and as far as what is happening. So we go down to advanced malware reporting where we can see that from the upper left we have uh, the distribution of clean malicious and unknown uh, viruses and over on the right we have similar distribution and over here is uh, hyperlinks that allows you to click and go to message tracking for malicious unknown or clean to see uh, this number of messages and their details as to what happened what was the final remediation uh, down on the on the left side, the lower left over here, 
have we have the SHA strings of the individual file types. During this particular attack that occurred between July 7th and July 12th, we only have one type of sample that's being sent in. But during that time, you can see that the distribution of the attack and how, how it occurred over time, which is important information in an actual production environment. And down, down at the very bottom, we have the uh, file types that are listed in a table. And, and again, the SHA strings for, for the, the detailed file types down at the very bottom. And again, this type, we only have one particular attack. The um, clicking on this SHA over on the left will take you to a detailed report that we'll show later on that particular uh, sample. Okay, so let's go up to the top. We'll come over back over to uh, AMP verdict updates. Now the interesting thing about AMP verdict updates is that it shows any time we have an update of a file that, for example, was delivered as clean and then at a later time was the, the verdict on that particular file was changed. What we don't show off to the right is the new dip disposition that's kind of clipped on this view. The new disposition on all these files is malicious. So let's look at this particular file right here, uh, the one that the verdict is initially unknown and later went to malicious. We want to see uh, how that report looks like. Now some interesting things are here. It's uh, It attempted to process, uh, to register a fake re recycle bin folder. It is uh, classified as generic malware. Um, all these things are taken as individual threat levels and how, how it scores on that particular activity is rated. And in this case, all those are, are very high. So let's look, click on the SHA for that particular file type. We'll go, uh, we, in this case, it takes us over to uh, message tracking um, and where we can see the details as to what happened to that message. And as you can see, it came. It's come from uh, Chuck at LetMeIn.ml, and it's going to kbfloyd at demo.com. And we click click on the details on the far right, and it opens up a more detailed uh, message tracking report. And as again from the recipient and the the sender, and we can see initially that the the file was analyzed. It was uh, analyzed by signature-based antivirus, and it came up negative. And then we uh, submitted the file for analysis um, into ThreatGrid. So in this case, we sent the message into the uh, Office 365 account while while the file was being anal analyzed. And you can see the these are the results here. Initially, the file disposition is unknown, and that's where we call for AMP. What is the AMP reputation on that? And then at this point, we go ahead and deliver the file. We deliver the file to our, our recipient. Um, we could have quarantined it and held it while we analyzed it. But in this case, we don't want to stop production. We send it on in. And, it, and our remediation in, the, in this case is going to be to send an alert to the administrator um, once we, we get an update on the file indicating that it is malicious. Now, if we had Office 365 mailbox auto remediation enabled, we could have just retroactively pulled this file out as soon as, uh, as soon as ThreatGrid let us know that it was malicious. So that's it for our, our this edition of the Chalk Talk series. We really appreciate you joining us today, and we look forward to seeing you again on the next edition of the Chalk Talk.